hour. Also this midday, the man shot after a Virginia Beach robbery and pursuit has died. Today we learned this is not the first time he's been part of a police-involved shooting. Ten of your side's Katie Collette joining us now live from Norfolk at that man's home. Katie, what did you find out this morning? Cheryl and Carrie, we learned the first time Daniel Newcomb was actually shot by police was September of 2009 here in Norfolk at his home on Lenore Circle. Now, we can actually take you to that scene from 2009. I was actually here that day when Norfolk police say Newcomb called to tell them he killed his girlfriend, which we later learned he actually had not done. When police arrived, they say he pointed a gun at them and they fired. He was hit and went to the hospital in critical condition. Now, we're still working to find out why Newcomb was not still in jail from that incident in Norfolk. Meanwhile, let's head to Virginia Beach and take a look at the scene from that second police-involved shooting involving Newcomb. It happened Saturday afternoon in Virginia Beach. Employees of a tropical smoothie on Great Neck Road tell 10 on your side Newcomb robbed their restaurant and then drove off. A Virginia Beach police spokesman says officers say Newcomb's vehicle tried to stop them. He, he eventually crashed into another car before getting out and trying to run. Witnesses tell us shots were fired, but it's unclear who shot first. Now, investigators tell me they're working to determine that cause now. Newcomb was hit at least one time and later died. Now, officers involved in the shooting are on administrative duty pending the outcome of the investigations. We are still working to find out how many officers fired at Newcomb, and we'll work to have the information for you tonight in our 90 minutes of news beginning at 5. Live in Norfolk, Katie Collette, 10 on your side. Lots of questions still to be answered. Katie, thanks very much. We'll see you tonight at 5.